before uh, before we talk about the primary, can I can I comment on the uh, Trump thing with the cognitive decline? Go right ahead. Sure. Yeah, I, I think we could, it all ties together. Well, f- first of all, um, I both names have consonants and vowels. So in his in his defense, <laughs> <laughs> but on a but on a slightly serious note, I think there's something about that moment that people are missing. I don't think he had two people confused. I think he had three people confused. Um, because there's that, there's that part in his comment where he says something about deleting all the evidence or deleting something. I Um, think in, I think in his mind, he had Nancy Pelosi, Nikki Haley and Hillary Clinton all mashed together in his brain for that (laughs) moment. That's even scarier than that. that, That's probably the scariest thing I've ever heard. I haven't heard anyone else say that, but I, I keep thinking, no, I, I think I think he got even more confused in that moment than people realize. I think he had all th- I think he was thinking about all three of them. And I think he was really lost. And and also, too, the thing where he kept he said Nikki Haley's name like five times in a row. Isn't that I don't want to diagnose him, but isn't that one of the early symptoms of dementia? When you start just repeating things over and over like that, like repeating a name over and over. I used to repeat women's names all the time when I was a teenager, to be fair. That never meant right? I, had, I had dementia. Yeah, please go out with me. Please, uh, Betsy. please go out with me, Betsy. Betsy, why won't you return my call? Betsy, Betsy. But the Hillary Clinton theory, remember, you heard it on Tom Myers versus the rest of the world first. Yes. Yes. <laughs>